Hey, Patreon sponsors, thank you guys so much for all that you do. You guys and your support mean the world to me. It is because of you and thanks to you that we were able to keep the show going. And as a thank you, Ash decided to stay back a little bit. We're going to have a little bit of a behind-the-scenes interview with him, get to know him a little better just for you guys. All right? So, Ash, you ready? Yep, let's do it. All right. So we're going to ask a few questions, and then we'll do a rapid-fire challenge with you. All right, so first question. What is an alternate career for yourself? Alternate career acting. I always wanted, yeah. as I was growing up, I wanted to act. Um, and so if I wasn't doing this, uh, I would probably be, you know, acting somewhere. So given that, going with that theme, what is a memorable moment from a movie that you can remember that stands out? Oh, uh, man, Malcolm X. Uh, 1992, Spike Lee had uh, the movie Malcolm X uh, with Denzel Washington and the, and the moment where they were at the police station uh, and everybody was together and the police were telling everybody to go home. Right. Um, and, Mal and, and Denzel Washington said, we're not leaving until we see our brother. Uh, once they were able to speak to him, uh, they said, all right, let, let's go. And he put his hand up and everybody just got, just got quiet. And then he just you know, pointed his finger and everybody turned about face. And then everybody started walking. Um, and then they looked at each, the cops looked at each other and they said, no, no one man should have all that power. Um, and and I, I remember that vividly because um, it, it showed the power in, you know, you know, having one accord and just being uh, together and, 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 you know, sort of, you know, moving, uh, you yeah. know, un, under one beat. And so that, that's a definitely the most memorable uh, scene for me. That's a good one. That was a classic movie. Yeah. That was a classic, a very powerful movie and the acting first rate, yeah. first rate. All right. So. Do you have any superstitions or traditions that you abide by? I used to. I don't, right? I used to have superstitions, um, but I don't. I mean, I think, you know, because I, cause I, cause I, I fully believe in my power to create. Um, and so I wouldn't call it a superstition, but I do believe uh, that when I don't look within, everything goes haywire. Mm -hmm. um, and so I make sure uh, that I meditate every day, that when I wake up, you know, I'm, I'm meditating uh, because if I don't meditate, that's when you know, you life, off. yeah, life, life, life gets thrown off a little bit. Okay. All right. What is something weird that you think everyone should try at least once in their life? Mm, something weird um, that somebody should try once in their life. So I, I'm going to, so I'm a big food guy. I love to eat food. Okay. Um, and so uh, I have a secret sauce that I put on everything and I don't think people uh, you know, use it enough, uh, but it's ketchup. Um, and so I, I like, and I don't know if anybody do it, but I, but I like, uh, ketchup on, on my rice. Uh, and I think it, it tastes, it tastes really good. Uh, and so I would say that's, you know, people look at me weird when they, when they see me plain rice, rice. was it plain white rice? rice? Yeah. White rice. White rice. Huh. Ketchup on white rice tastes delicious. So I, I would say everybody should try that at least once. There you have it folks. Catch up on white rice. Listen, you don't get that kind of stuff on CNN, all right? You don't get that on CNN. Right here, right here. All right. If you could invite three people, living or dead, to have dinner with you, wow. who would you recommend? Ooh, that's a go, oh, man. Who living We're hard or hitting over here at Amy J. Hard man, hitting. Man, living or dead. Okay, so I got dinner with. So definitely. Uh, uh, definitely my co my cousin Jay Z, so my cousin Sean Carter, uh, my my auntie Oprah, um, so Oprah Jay Z, and um, wow, third person living a dead. I'm gonna say Napoleon Hill. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, because right. Napoleon Hill introduced me to uh, you know the first book I read that opened up my mind was Think and Grow Rich. Yeah. And, and I, I've read all of his books after that. And so I would love to um, have a conversation. So Jay-Z, Oprah, Napoleon Hill. That's a good, good, <laughs> yeah. it's good spread. Yeah. Anyone who knows him, though, should be offended. He didn't choose you. R right. right. Yeah, yeah. Here I, I am. Talking I only had three. I didn't even make a cut. Yeah. I, I only had three. You know, I only <laughs> had three. So, you know. <laughs> I mean, what am I going to do? I will come over, over Oprah? Guys, come on. I'd, I'd invite Oprah. Come on. All right. Let's see. Uh, oh, this is a good one. What is your spirit animal and why? Oh, my spirit animal uh, is a mosquito because I am relentless. Uh, I am, you know, 
Uh, you know I want to slap mosquitoes, right? Right. And the thing is, you you want to slap them, but you can't you can't get to them. And so they they they're all over the place. They're quick. <laughs> you know, yeah. Sometimes you don't see them coming, but that's but, true. But they're powerful. They yeah, last. They're long. deadly in India, guys. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I would I would say my my spirit animal uh, is a, is a mosquito. You came up that pretty quick too. Yeah. You know, because I was I was trying to. You know, rap, I was trying to answer it rapid fire, and so you know, I I probably if I had more time, I probably would have said like a lion or something like that. <laughs> but really says mosquito. That's actually yeah. pretty good. You know, yeah. <laughs> what is your favorite family vacation? Oh, family! Uh, favorite family vacation uh, is Martha's Vineyard. Um, oh. and, you know, Martha's Vineyard is just one of those places where um, you're on vacation, but it feels like you're home. Mm. Um, and, 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 and it's, it's something to do for everybody. It's relaxing. Um, it's, it's, you know, not, not a lot of, uh, you know, I've been on vacations where there's just so much going on, yeah. but you know, it, it really gives you, you know, you're, sur you're, you're on an Island. So you're surrounded by water, which is, you know, relaxing in itself. Um, so yeah, the favorite family vacation. Okay. Yes. All right. Last question before the final one, what is your biggest fear? Who, uh, my biggest fear is not maximizing my full potential. Okay. Uh, you know, you're not being able to give the world all that I think I can give the world. Um, that, that's, that's my biggest fear. All right. Yeah. Okay, so we are headed to our rapid fire. Oh, that wasn't rapid fire? Oh, that, man, okay. That wasn't rapid fire. You were yep. rapid. Yep. You yep. were rapid, but that wasn't rapid fire. All right, hold on. Yep. We got to get this ready. I'm going to show you a timer. Let me know when you can see the timer. Okay. Okay, I, yeah, 30 Got seconds. It? Yes. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. You're going to pick this or that. All right, we're going to see how many you can get. Okay. I think the record at the moment of this is about eight. Okay. All right, and the, the narrator is not the bottleneck. All right, I don't want to hear none of that. Okay. Right. <laughs> I'm, talking about, I'm the bottleneck. I'm not the bottleneck. All right, All right. ready? Yes. Coke or Pepsi? Coke. Boat or plane? Playing. Singing or dancing? Dancing. Mountains or beach? Beach. Pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie? Oh, sweet potato pie. <laughs> Chain restaurant, local restaurant? Local restaurant. Marvel or DC? Ooh, Marvel. Theater or cinema? Theater. Dogs or cats? Cats. Uh, Apple or Android? Apple. <laughs> Team iPhone, baby. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nicely nice. done. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Nice. Way nice. to go. Nice. Well, nice. Let me stop this real quick. Oh, Ash, thank you so much for, you know, not just the interview, but for coming on and sharing your time for this bonus behind the scenes interview with these guys. We appreciate it. It'll go to the general public in a few months. Uh, but first, for the patrons, we appreciate you. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you for having me. I uh, had so much fun. And anytime you need me again, just, you know, just, just definitely reach out. Absolutely.